Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. France is exploring the possibility of establishing arms manufacturing facilities operated by French companies directly in Ukraine. Defense Minister Sébastien Lecornu disclosed this plan, revealing that three French firms would forge partnerships with Ukrainian counterparts to produce spare parts and potentially ammunition on Ukrainian soil. These collaborations will primarily focus on drone and ground equipment sectors, aiming to bolster Ukraine's defensive capabilities against Russian aggression. Le Cornu emphasized the urgency of swiftly implementing these production facilities, with the aim of having them operational by summer to provide timely support to the Ukrainian armed forces. Among the participating companies, Minister Le Cornu hinted at the involvement of KNDS, a conglomerate comprising France's Nexter and Germany's Krauss Maffei Wegman indicating the participation of prominent arms manufacturers. This initiative, welcomed by Ukrainian defense forces, reflects France's commitment to establishing a foothold in arms production within Ukraine. Furthermore, the governments of Ukraine and France have inked a bilateral security cooperation agreement, earmarking €3 billion Euros in military aid for 2024. This pact encompasses security assistance and the provision of modern military equipment across various domains, including land, air, maritime, space, and cyber, with particular emphasis on air defense, artillery, long-range weaponry, armored vehicles, and bolstering the Ukrainian Air Force's capabilities. Recently, French company Arquis Defense unveiled plans to establish a repair workshop in Ukraine, primarily focused on servicing and refurbishing French-made VOB armored vehicles supplied to Ukraine, ensuring their sustained operational readiness. France's strategy aims to fortify Ukraine's defense sector by establishing a manufacturing base for military equipment within the country. This endeavor holds significant implications for the conflict with Russia, as it not only delivers immediate assistance but also endeavors to enhance Ukraine's defense autonomy and resilience in the long run. Prioritizing local production and technological self-sufficiency is poised to substantially bolster Ukraine's military prowess. Gradually reducing reliance on foreign military imports aims to ensure a consistent supply of critical military assets while enhancing Ukraine's capacity for equipment maintenance, customization, and modernization. This shift toward self-reliance in defense manufacturing is expected to enhance the flexibility and robustness of the Ukrainian military, fostering a sustained state of readiness, mitigating risks associated with supply chain disruptions, and facilitating swift adaptation of military equipment to meet operational exigencies. Such enhancements could significantly elevate military effectiveness, enabling more effective response to battlefield challenges. Moreover, the move toward self-sufficiency in defense production could have broader strategic ramifications for Ukraine. As the conflict persists, the ability to independently manufacture and enhance military equipment could bolster Ukraine's deterrence capabilities, potentially influencing neighboring states' strategic calculus. Additionally, this transition toward self-sustainability could contribute to post-conflict stabilization efforts in Ukraine, reducing dependency on foreign military supplies, enhancing autonomy and defense-related decision-making, and facilitating the transition to a peaceful environment. That's all for now. See you later.